crates. Crates are one of the most desirable things for a player in Rust. There are shitty crates, and there are crates that can make the whole server go bananas. This piece of shit. So today, I spawned 100 of each land crate in Rust to see what kind of loot you can expect to get from each crate. Here's a list of the crates I will loot, and just a quick disclaimer. Every 100 crate loot will be different because obviously every item has different odds. Anyway, let's start off with the crappiest crate in Rust. Primitive Crate Honestly, there ain't much to talk about it because the best item you can get from the Primitive Crate is the Paddle. Generally, I'd recommend skipping this box because it's literally trash. Anyway, here's loot from 100 Primitive Crates. Next up, we have a normal crate. I'd say people loot these crates the most as they can be found in all monuments as well as on the road and the sea. As for the loot inside, you can find components, some tier 1 weapons and other useful stuff. Anyway, here's loot from 100 normal crates. Likes on a bitch should I get so you would do it, man? Uh, 5,000. Alright, boys, you know what to do. Next on the list, Toolbox. Remember when the Toolbox used to be purple? Anyway, the toolbox is great if you're looking for tools. The best item you can get from these boxes are the jackhammer and chainsaw, both at 1% chance. And now, let's dive into the loot from 100 toolboxes. Next up, military crates. Military crates are found almost across every monument in Rust. Inside, you can find a few tier 2 weapons, things related to electricity, building, and other things I believe you don't care about. Anyway, here's loot from 100 military crates. Next up, Elite Crates. Elite Crates can be found at the launch site, military tunnel and the oil rigs. This crate holds everything a player needs, from tier 2 and tier 3 weapons to C4, armored doors, electrical components and many other goodies. The best item that you can get from this crate is the L96 with 0.3% chance. Have you had the chance to receive an L96 from Elite Crate? If so, let me know in the comments. Anyway, here's loot from 100 Elite Crates.
Next on the list, Ammo Crate. There ain't much to talk about it, honestly. Ammo crates can be found in the underwater labs and Arctic research base. So, here's loot from 100 ammo crates. Since we're done looking at the simple crates, let's move on to more serious crates that aren't so easy to get. Starting with the Bradley crate. Each time a Bradley is destroyed, you obtain three crates. If someone is not going to counter you, of course. As for the loot, Bradley crate offer almost the same loot compared to the helicopter crates. But with the difference that they spawn valuable gear more often, double the amount of ammo and a few items of high value. You can get M249 with 8% chance, while L96 9% chance. The rarest item that you can get from Bradley crate is the Spaz shotgun with 0.4% chance. Anyway, let's dive into the loot from 100 Bradley crates. Next on the list, Helicopter Crate. Several of these crates are dropped by the helicopter when it is destroyed. They're initially on fire just like the Bradley crates, preventing players from looting them for a few minutes. This means the player who took out the helicopter have to defend this loot until the fire stops and they become lootable. If the crates drop in water, the fire is put out by the water so they are immediately lootable. As for the loot, the most common drops are rockets and C4, ammo and M249. You can also get L96 with just 1% chance. Anyway, here's the loot from 100 heli crates. And now to the fun stuff, supply signal. Unfortunately, I couldn't spawn the crate as I did with the others, so I had to throw 100 supply signals. I really wanted to know whether the landing supply drop can crush you, and here's what happened. Now, let's talk about the crate a bit. The player should take care attempting to loot a supply drop as chances are, due to the high quality of the loot inside as well as the visibility of the drop location, other players will also be headed to the package. You may have to fight other players to gain access to the items inside. All supply drops are guaranteed to contain some resources, armor, explosives and one or two weapons. The best and the rarest weapon you can get is the LR, with just 2% chance. Anyway, 
Here's loot from 100 supply signals. Last but not least, Locked Crates. Locked Crates are the best crates in Rust that can be dropped by Chinook Helicopter or found in oil rigs. With 130 unique items in its drop table, you can obtain the best weapons in the game, such as the minigun, AK, L96 and other goodies. Try not to damage the computer on the crate, as this will slow the hacking time down. Anyway. Here's loot from 100 locked crates. And now, let's see the combined loot from all different crates.
Unfortunately, there should have been two extra crates in this video, but blame Facepunch for not adding the code so I could spawn them. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If so, leave a sub and a comment under the video, and I'll see you in the next one.